One thing I definitely will be bringing on my trip on the European Divide this summer is my GoPro 11. It's always handy to have a small, easy to use camera that's waterproof because, well, in Scandinavia, it's going to rain. One of the problems I discovered on my trip last year with my 360 camera was that the quality of the sound wasn't always the best, especially in windy situations. And seeing as I intend to film and speak a bit while I'm on the bike, I decided to buy one of these. It's like a wind sock. It's a little neoprene foam casing that you put on the GoPro and it supposedly it helps with the wind noise. I hope it does because I'm too lazy to all the time use a, a mic with a uh, cord and I really hope this solves some of the problems I've had with the sound. Uh, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to try it in different situations and we'll find out what it works like. Okay, I finally got a nice day after several days of rain. It's a beautiful day today. Not too cold and I thought I'd go out and try the wind slayer on the GoPro. This is the use case I wanted for basically. I want to be able to talk when riding on the bike without having to use a, a separate microphone. There's a bit of wind today and then there's the wind from me traveling along on the bike. This beginning section here is with the wind slayer on the GoPro. I'll be very interested to see what it sounds like. You'll notice that I've got a new helmet. I finally managed to get a new helmet after losing my old one in France on the European Divide last summer. Uh, my city helmet. I'm not sure if it's the one I'm going to use on the trail next summer. Might get a more mountain bike oriented one for that. Okay, time to stop. Take the wind slayer off and see what that sounds like. Okay, I've removed the wind slayer. I'm very interested to see if there is a difference, how much there is. I would love for it to work because it makes life a little bit easy. It's only a little foam cover, so it's quite flimsy. I'm uh, not sure how well it's going to last, but uh, I bought two <laughs> just in case. So if it works, that's what I'll be bringing on the trip. Beautiful day today. First nice day for a ride for a long time. Now I just have to get back home and uh, see what the difference is. Okay, they were the two clips with the wind slayer and without the wind slayer completely just the way they came out of the GoPro. I haven't even adjusted the levels. It's just automatic levels on the GoPro and whatever wind noise was there. What do you think? Is there a difference? To my ears, there definitely is a difference. There is less wind noise with the wind slayer on there and it's quite a cheap, easy accessory. So the way it looks at the moment, I'm definitely going to be bringing this along. I will add at the end of this clip, the first clip with the wind slayer, but adjusted with voice isolation from DaVinci Resolve and maybe just a touch of different levels to see what that sounds like and you can see what the finished product would sound like. It's quite cheap. I did buy two because it's only a foam cover that you put on and off and I'm sort of worried that I will break it. I'm not sure how well it's going to last and you have to actually put it on or rather take it off and put it back on again to get at both the battery and the memory card. So I did buy two, they're quite cheap, so that's not a problem. Apart from that, I'm reasonably happy with the way it works. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough in a really windy situation. I'll have to try that when I get the opportunity, but it will be coming with me on the ride this summer. I finally got a nice day after several days of rain. It's a beautiful day today, not too cold and I thought I'd go out and try the wind slayer on the GoPro. This is the use case I wanted for basically. I want to be able to talk when riding on the bike without having to use a separate microphone. 
There's a bit of wind today, and then there's the wind from me traveling along on the bike. This beginning section here is with the wind slayer on the GoPro. I'll be very interested to see what it sounds like. You'll notice that I've got a new helmet. I finally managed to get a new helmet after losing my old one in France on the European Divide last summer. Uh, my city helmet, not sure if it's the one I'm going to use on the trail next summer. Might get a more mountain bike oriented one for that. Okay, time to stop, take the wind slayer off and see what that sounds like. 